Well, I don't know what to tell you. Those of you who were watching yesterday's episode, or tried to watch yesterday's episode at the regular time, will have found that it you didn't get notified until about, oh, two and a half or so hours after the regular time. I don't know what happened to YouTube, which I understand has been bought out by Google. But recently we've been having problems, and I'm not the only uh, uh, viewer who uh, uploads videos who had a problem yesterday. I got a message from somebody, and, and I got a couple of phone calls from people wondering what was happening. Um, yeah, I, I might have to change the way I'm doing things if, if this is the way it's going to go, if this is going to become the norm. Now, at least my video did get uploaded, but it, it, it took about four hours, and normally a video of that length is about 45 minutes to an hour at the most. So, yeah, what, what, what can I say? Well, I, I think what I can say is that I did come back to the model table last night, and I did put this boat on. <laughs> it wasn't without problems. Let's just roll back and watch, and uh, then we'll, we'll get on with it. Okay, now, if you remember, we ended off yesterday's episode. Now, I'm sorry about this this uh, railing or splinter guard or whatever it is, sort of in the way, and it sort of hides the stern part of this little boat. But I just want to see if the positioning pins are going to fit. Um, now, come on, I don't want to have to do any retakes here. Yeah, I think I think it will. I think it'll. I think it's going to fit, and we're going to just rely on the on the Revell Contra to. Uh, oh shoot! Okay, where's my lighter? Okay, we're at such an acute angle here, so that you can see the positioning pins. Now what? Tell me I've run out. Okay. I'm using the Tamiya. The Tamiya you might call this thick. I'm just going to put it right on the hole. You, like I was saying, the the uh, angle is is uh, is so acute there that you probably can't see. Maybe I'll just use my, my finger here. Sorry, I gotta get in your way. Why is this not going? Maybe what I should have been doing is is drilling it out. I know you can't see it from the, your angle, but the, uh, there, oh, you know what happened? I broke the rudder off. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Maybe I should have left this for the morning when I was a little bit more with it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this in the evening. Okay. Let that cure and then I'll repaint. Now let's see if I can fix that uh, Revell tube that keeps plugging up. Okay, normally what I do is I just burn off the end of the tube here, but it could be that it's plugging further further in. I'm gonna before I 
take drastic measures here. I'm just going to see what will happen if I start burning a little, little further in here. not what I had wanted to do but all right now are we unplugged yes we're unplugged all right now I'm not going to be using it for a while let's put the cap on I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but it might help. All right, in the meantime, we've got to wait for this to cure. And it may have cured by now. Okay, let's just try and repair the worst of it here. Yeah, we'll let that dry and uh, I think it'll probably blend in pretty good. You gotta remember the boat is going to be covering, covering most of that. Okay, see if I can get in here without uh, accidentally breaking something else off. Now we want to re-drill out our holes. I do believe that one, the, one is, the worst is right there. Now the, the drill bit I selected is just a tiny bit bigger than the positioning pegs. Okay, I don't think I'll stick the macro lens on. Right, let's see now. Oh! I got it on our manual. It either doesn't come out or it comes out too fast. Okay, now let's let's try not to break the rudder off this time. I steady myself against the Alright, let's let that cure. It doesn't look like it's in the right place, you know, it's it's too close to the, you know, the, those uh, r hose reels or whatever they were. Okay, it does appear to me that it should rock a little bit this way. Okay, maybe a little bit more. May not look like it to you, but... Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, it's still not enough. All right, hopefully it'll stay like that and not rock back. Maybe I'm going to have to rig up a jig to hold it. Anyway, we'll see what we got in the morning. Okay, I have uh, sp spent several minutes uh, trying to figure out why it is I am missing a boat. And uh, I even checked the sprue to see if, you know, I got all the all the boats off. But the boat we put on this larger boat yesterday was the wrong one. I should have put one that was just one size that looked like it, but it was one size bigger. And uh, I, have, I have since broke it off. And I put the correct one on here, 
and now I just want to put back our little jig. It'll hold it horizontal. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a setback because now this thing is going to be in the way to mount this boat, unless I can sort of tuck it in underneath. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that one last. Okay, now. Now the the boat that goes here, whoops! I don't want to hear any whoopses. Okay, the boat that is supposed to go right here is is supposed to be another one like this, and the one that was on that boat by mistake is supposed to go down inside it. Yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd missed a boat. I was looking all over the place for it. Anyway, let's let's get on with it now. I think the problem solved, sort of. Uh, it's just kind of too bad when you gotta, you know, you know, sort of break a part off, and fortunately you can't see where I broke it off. Okay, now this is the larger of the two boats that that look alike, and we're just doing a dry run here. The uh, safety uprights that I've got on here are kind of in the way and I can't I don't know if I should take them off sometimes I think I should okay that fits nice all right let's get some uh, revel on there maybe if I grab it like this yeah that'll work better Oh my. Now this is the one that I removed. You can see there's glue on the bottom of it. That's kind of an oddball fit, isn't it? You know, I think maybe I should take a little bit of time out here and maybe get rid of some of that excess glue and then uh, and then maybe I'm gonna have to repaint the hull. Just just let me think about this for a minute here. Okay, I've cleaned it up a little bit here. And uh there is just no way that this is gonna mount on top of there properly. It's like there's a it's like there's a mounting bracket or something that would go between the two boats and it's it's just not there. Um you know, I, I, I can sort of just sort of glue it on. You know, you see those these two little pegs that I'm touching right now with the tweezer? Well, they must have something to do with mounting in the bottom of the... And unless this goes way back, would it, could it go like this maybe? You know, that that sort of fits, you know, flush along the uh, thwarts or the seats. Um, maybe I'll just do it like that. And I'll just have to be careful. You no, know, I, I don't like the looks of that. That's, you're uh, sort of losing out on the fact that there's a, a rudder there. Maybe if it, if the rudder went down in the, in the well where the, where the, the uh, bosun would whatever you call him, helmsman, where he, where he would sit. Um, I don't know. This is, uh, and I definitely have the right boats. I am 100% convinced I have the correct boats. They just don't fit together.
Yesterday, I think it was around supper time, I put out fresh carrots for our rabbits. But they didn't start coming around, I noticed, until oh, around dusk. And uh, I was kind of curious, when was the last piece actually taken? So I checked this morning. And uh, it turns out, uh, well, you can see the time there on the screen. It was the wee hours of the morning. They finally took the last uh, little morsel of carrot. <laughs> but you know, they did not touch the rabbit food. Okay, here, here's what's happened. I have decided that I'm going to try and make up some kind of a bracket that will go across the thwarts of that larger boat on the bottom so that when this sits down it's going to it's going to look believable. In other words, probably I've been thinking of maybe using a, a toothpick or something and uh, at least, at least that's the plan right now. I'm going to be doing that later on today. Um, part of my plan is I, I want to start my, my upload earlier. Uh, in other words, in a few minutes, actually. And uh, the idea being is that it will be uh, available on time. I don't know what's happening to YouTube. Uh, I, I do know that if I, if I keep uh, flapping my lips here, uh, the time is going to pass by and uh, the longer the video, the longer it takes to upload and the more chances are you are going to have a problem with, with YouTube. But anyway, that, that's the plan. I'm going to make uh, a couple of brackets that will go prob probably across this thwart and, or seat and maybe, and maybe this one. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'll come up with something and I'll video it when I do it. Um, yeah, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And I am planning on putting the uh, morning sunrise at the end of this episode, which will be in about three seconds. Thank you.